Hello everyone, welcome back to the Colour Code Masterclass. Again, this is Anna. Hi. Thank you so much for all your lovely comments last week. Oh, felt... Honestly, it's just been wonderful hearing from you all and I'm so excited that you're enjoying our colour chat because it is a conversation we have on the reg, isn't it, Caroline? Yeah. <laughs> it is. But it's also something that, you know, we can do. If you're going to buy a jumper anyway, you may as well buy a jumper that suits yeah. you and makes you feel good. So we've changed your makeup again. So this yeah. time, if you want to come a little bit closer and centre of focus, Anna, um, cool. just to show a little bit of variation. Actually, to be really transparent, we did go for this. Was it this shade that you chose, yeah. first of all? Yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful bare minerals called Wisdom. Now, this is actually a beautiful colour um, for Anna. But what we realised is at that point she had her hair down and she's got this like beautiful structured top on, which is actually a beautiful vintage dress. And the whole thing became quite dated because it was a strong makeup look against a strong line and it was just too ageing. So we wanted to kind of make it a little bit more youthful and contemporary. So we've just taken it down and that's just by changing the texture. So we went for that simple, you chose, obviously these are your colours and your colour palette and remind yeah. everyone you are winter. I'm a winter cool. Winter cool, okay. And you're a spring bright. I'm a spring bright. Um, so we went for, I'm trying to, trying to see the colour of this, um, Brown Sugar Summer Fridays Lip Balm, which is a product that I have in my kit. It just is a beautiful lip butter that you described as what? Oh, I could eat it. It's absolutely <laughs> delicious smelling. My oh, heaven. You, you said creme brulee, didn't you? Which I yeah. never thought about that. Mm, creme brulee. Um, anyway, really beautiful vegan brand. And we just popped that on her lips, matched with a Tower 28 eye gloss. So we got rid of all the eye products and just had this lovely kind of hydrated finish, which actually you can't notice in this soft daylight, but looking at Anna now, it's all glassy and gorgeous. And then I used one of my favorite Pat McGrath blushes, just a really classic pink. There we go. So subtle, it. subtle changes, but it worked really well. Oh, sorry, I'm putting you And back. also... We're both on wheels. And we're like, <laughs> it's like being in the dodgers. Zooming rooms. around. So you're going to help people now who have the colour palette off. Yeah. So today we're going to look at autumn and winter. So the two colour codes at the deeper end of the colour spectrum. All right. So I'm a winter cool. And over here we've got some... Which ones do you want to grab? This is winter here. Okay, let's do winter. And it's a very kind of vibrant, strong palette. Um, and you can see that the base colour here I've got under the jacket is brilliant white because winters are the only code really that kind of get that lovely um, lift from white. And you can see by comparison, the base I'm going to whiz back. The base on the autumn is a cream. So you can see subtle but significant difference. We discussed a little trick um, last time about um, self-assessing, so doing the paper trick. Another thing that you can do to help establish whether you might be an autumn or a winter is look at the veins on your wrists and if you see green you have warm undertones and if you see blue you have cool undertones so if you have warm undertones generally speaking and darker hair or kind of a deeper copper hair you will be an autumn and if you have cool undertones and darker hair you will most likely be a winter and then as we covered previously there are different variants within those seasons but that's the the basic steer. Mm. Now, for anyone who has been getting confused, please follow Anna on her Instagram channel because she will do things like the Met Gala, look at all the women who are winter, spring, summers, and she will go look at these jumpers from LK Bennett, Bash Bash Bosch, Marks and Spencers. And so she will kind of give you an edit of clothes that are available to buy or that people are wearing those clothes as an inspiration. So. I think it's one of those things you just need to get used to seeing mm -hmm. and hearing to kind of become attuned to it. And obviously if you have your own... Do you, so if you do a concentration with you, do you get a, one of those fans? So what you get is... Can I have one of those for the Yes, office? of course you Where can. do you get them from or do you have to get them from you? Uh, get them from me. Okay. And get them from my website. So right. if you... Which is what? Colour code? It's www.thecolourcode.me if you do a consultation, you get one of these digital swatches. This is my winter 
cool. So use this all the time. Like literally so you've got all the it time. on your phone. Got it on my phone, got it on my phone. Right. And then is that from your website as well then you can download it? Was that just you, like a you general can, thing? Yeah, you can if you if you think, right, I'm pretty confident what colour code I am, you can just buy this on the website. You don't right, okay. and you might feel you need a consultation. Um and you can also buy these paper swatches which I carry around with uh, me all the time. So I use both. I use both. Mm -hmm. I find this digital swatch particularly useful when I'm online shopping because I can cross oh. I can cross reference the the colours online with the swatch. Well how do you do that? Does that hold it up to the yeah, screen? Yeah I just well I'll just screen grab the it's item. A, there's, there's a real sort of subtle difference in some of the tones isn't there? There is subtle but crucial. Yeah you're right. <laughs> subtle but crucial and then often you will find that you do need to see the item in person yeah. to then give a final sure. Like, so for example, I've, again, carrying on the cashmere theme. So where are these jumpers from? This is from Marks and Spencers. They've got right. a beautiful, beautiful range of cashmere in at the moment. So this is the winter polo, gorgeous. And this is the autumn cashmere, and this is from Reese. So again, expensive pieces, you want to get it right. This colour just looks awful in a winter. It just, I find it really washes, washes winters out. So I would get the item home, okay? And I would then colour check it against my palette to make sure that it tones perfectly. Likewise with the autumn, get it home and make sure it tones. I mean, that is so, that is the epitome of autumn, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, that is it is, yeah. The most... It's a beautiful palette. Well, I need to get savvy with a fan, but yes, lovely palette. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Very, a very earth and grounding palette. This is beautiful. Mm. So yeah, you can see the difference. Quite, quite significant, but mm -hmm. just works a treat. Works a treat. So you also said with your accessories as well, yeah. how you balance those. Yeah. Up. So I brought a couple of different colours here just to give an example. So. I, when you're going for quite kind of soft... I love this combination. I love that it's a, a comfy jersey. Do you call that? Yeah. Jersey? Yeah, it's jersey fabric. Under it's... a really structured but really soft jacket because it kind of makes the heart... Because I don't like wearing things like that because I just think it makes me look so much older and sort of more corporate and I've never been like that but this is kind of more relaxed I really like that yeah so what's that and other stories and and other stories and this one let's have a look see I can't remember soaked soaked and then adding a pop of colour like we've discussed previously if you want to if you kind of want to gradually incorporate colour in a very nice textured way to give mm. it even more um more of a pop so I love that combination. Yeah, really nice. And you can see the gold just works perfectly with that, with that palette. And then the silver working brilliantly. With the, let me lift that up because that does look so much. Again, I like the t-shirt with the vibrancy of the jacket. And the silver working well. Jacket okay. is Yas. Yeah. Y A S. And t-shirt is. And or. And you can see actually, just as a quick reference, because all the colours in your palette tone, you could just kind of interchange. Yeah. If you wanted to go for something a bit bolder and it will all tone. So everything you own will start to tone yeah. beautifully. That is nice because you put it on and it all works. Yeah. Really I'm important. guilty of not working that correctly. Yeah. Now, you've chosen the lipsticks to go with the two seasons. I have. So can you see? I'll hold that one up. Again, this is from the Hourglass collection. Um, I gave Anna just two or three, three different collections of makeup. So sorry that it's the similar brands coming up again. This is called Raw in the new Hourglass. And this is for? Autumn. Autumn, really nice. Really nice brownie undertone to that, isn't it? Yeah. So explain in Autumn again. So it's a, a, a very deep, strong, warm palette and the different variants within the different colour codes have different degrees of softness and warmth. But this is quite a deep one, it's a lovely, a lovely, lovely okay, code. That's raw. And then this one, just to go for something. Bare Minerals Minimalist is the brand and the shade is Inspiration. So this comes in. And it's just going to match it so you can see how yeah. it fits. 
So you literally can go to the beauty store, any stop, any shop, and make sure that that lipstick and your own blends in completely with your colour code and you will get the right lipstick. And I know how frustrating it is and I know how many questions I get. How do I get the perfect red lipstick for, for me? How can I wear red? Everybody can wear a bright colour, it's the right tone. I mean, that would be something nice to do, wouldn't it? Definitely. Everyone can wear a red lipstick. Yeah. A red lipstick for each colour. Yeah. Um, season. This is another lovely match here that I found. I enjoyed doing this one. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. Is that the Bare Minerals Minimalist again? It is, yeah. No, this is Energy. Energy. Oh, I do like Energy. Yeah, it's <clears> beautiful. <throat> that's quite an orangey red, isn't it? Again? And actually, red is the colour of Energy. Yes. So, yeah, perfect name there. I'm also going to do some little short films on Instagram, um, having Anna talk through the emotional feeling of going through your wardrobe and why you would choose a certain colour and even if our husband's got like an important meeting he now knows like what colour to choose for. Do you colour code your children? Absolutely because my son, my elder son, has similar colouring to me. He's dark. Yes he does, yeah. And my <clears throat> younger son has beautiful auburn hair and he's very and very beautiful pale. auburn hair so they've got completely well it's the celt in it you see but they've got completely different coloring and so mm. they suit completely different clothes and it really is it's actually fascinating to see how how dramatically different even for young children that the colors can do yeah their skin tone so this well, is on the winter now should we do a quick winter, winter one and what color is that so this is Bare Minerals Wisdom. I love the names of the... So you can see a perfect so nice. match. Yeah. And I can see that. I can see a winter woman now. Or a winter man. Absolutely. So yeah, so whenever, whenever I go in, into any shop... Do you get many men coming in for consultations? Oh yeah. Oh all, really? Yeah, absolutely all the time. Do you? Yes. I really wow. do. Good yeah. for them. I know, I love it. And often there have been... More gay men than straight men? No. Absolutely not. I, I, I can't tell you how many husbands are referred by clients that I've worked right, with yeah. and then they'll go, you must help my husband, you must... Um, mm. What, what colour she wear? And children. So I've had clients who then oh send God. me their, their youngsters to have their colour code because maybe they're getting a prom dress or they're... Yeah, I think even what if it's like, you know, you're at a wedding. Yes. I mean, even, well, if you're the bride, then what type of white? Well, quite, Caroline. Quite. Well, mm. yeah. It's a really nice gift. Really nice gift. Um, right, is that off you? How many lipsticks have you done for the winter? So, shall I do another one for the winter? Yeah, I think you did one, didn't you? Another option. So, that I've done wisdom. Let me do that. Oh, I chose two wisdoms, Caroline. That's ridiculous. <laughs> oh no, it was the one you that I put on the bright lilac one, Ravine. That was a bit darker though. Let's have a look on my hand. Yes. Yeah. Lovely. So, yeah, <clears> so that's really awesome. interesting. So next to it, because the density of the pigment in the bullet, it looked much darker. And then Anna put it on her hand. Of course, she's right. Her eyes are so attuned. Of course, I'm wrong. Um, and it works perfectly. So yeah, so what one is that? Ravine? That's Ravine, yeah. Ravine. Yeah, that's okay. beautiful, yeah. Now I've often said to you, yeah, 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 I do, and I, and I really wholeheartedly support Anna, believe, not believe her, I totally get the whole colour concept. It really does work. Um, in clothes and in makeup, psychologically, and just making you look the best that you can. And we had this discussion on the phone once, I don't know whether you remember, I was like, yeah, but sometimes, I just want to put a camel jumper on and it yeah. might drain the life out of me, but I might then choose to put on a bright lip because that, in my head, balances it out. Mm -hmm. And you were mm -hmm. like, do you remember your response? No. <laughs> oh, oh, Caroline, <laughs> some days I just want to be beige and I will be beige and white and whatever for the whole day because some days I want to be invisible. And mm. I'm like, yes, I'm mm. the same. Mm. Sometimes mm. I just literally won't put any mm. makeup on mm. and I'll go out to the shops because I think I'm invisible. I mean, mm. it's the most ridiculous, mm. <laughs> ridiculous thought ever. Because, mm -hmm. of course, you're the same, just a bit more ropey, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you just feel like that. Mm -hmm. But again, that goes back to the emotion of It does. Color. That 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 connects to the colour psychology element of what I do. So I think I said previously that colour is light. We all know that. But 
likes energy and we respond to energy like we would a good tune. Like if you put on a song that makes you want to dance or a song that makes you want to sleep. Colours mm. very, very similar. Every different colour is a different wavelength. So as an example, green is, this, is the colour in the very middle of the rainbow. It's the central wavelength. It's the wavelength that doesn't need any eye adjustment. Therefore, it's the colour mm. that calms us. It's the colour of balance, of equilibrium, of the centre of the Didn't rainbow. Know that's why though, because it's in the middle colour. It is. Oh. It's the central wavelength. So, what you're saying is some days you want to wear, you just want to inv be invisible, wear something kind of calming and subtle. So, I do too. Yeah, if you're feeling a bit fragile. I do. So, what yeah. I do when I feel like that, I wear grey. Right, yeah, I love grey. I wear a grey because it's a very kind of invisible, but even on your neutral... off days, are you still on the colour code? Yeah. <laughs> That's good. I absolutely am because, because on those off days, they're the days that I need the emotional reinforcement. So right, if yes. I'm feeling a bit unwell or I'm feeling a bit down or a bit harassed or a bit stressed, I'll wear colours that counter those emotions to pull me out of it. Mm. So... Um, Always. So, for example, if th this colour, this kind of minty uh, colour, is is a really good comment for me. Yeah. And I think the important thing is to remember, we all have a different and totally unique response to colour. So this might be a colour that calms me, but a, a totally different colour would do that to you from your colour code. So it's all about then learning about the psychology of your colour code and the colours which activate you in different ways, the colours that make you feel your most authentic, the colours that make you feel your most creative or your most passionate and using colour to kind of put you in the headspace that you want. So I'll, de I'll definitely use it on my off days, always. You need to write a book. I know, I'd love to. A really beautiful visual book. Yeah. For people to see. I think, yeah. It... And understand, not just words, because that's too boring. Well, it is for me, as someone who likes to see things, but you need to see the, the colours, and but just explaining the whole yeah. psychology. and Because it's not just about styling. Colour for me is not just styling, it's about well-being. Mm. It's about self-care. We all get dressed in the morning. We all get dressed, so why not get dressed with a heightened consideration of your own headspace and how you need to reinforce yourself emotionally for whatever your day looks like. Mm. And that goes back to the beginning for you because all of this stems from your mum. Yeah. And it really motivated you to leave your highly successful, well-paid job as a producer yeah. and go, no, I'm done. This is what I'm going to focus on. Yeah. And you have done it, and it's amazing, because that's what you feel. But it's just too powerful and it's too important. And actually, after my mum's experience, um, you introduced me to Look Good Feel Better, and I went on to... Look Good Feel Better is a, a charity, it's based in America as well, and I'm not sure we, how many countries, but UK and States definitely. Um, and I have worked with them for about 15 years, 20 years probably, um, by now, and... Um, they're a charity that support women who are going through breast cancer when they've lost their hair, their eyebrows, their lashes, their skin is irritated, yada yada. And there, we did workshops. There are workshops available for people who, if anyone is going through chemotherapy at this time, this is a bit of a sideline, but why not talk about it now? Um, you can go to a workshop in your local hospital. If you contact the charity, they can let you know where that is. Um, that was previous, we did DVDs and we did videos on the website and now there's lots of downloadable videos that you can also copy as well. But then I introduced Anna. You did and because they helped my mum so much and I was so passionate about volunteering my time to help them create a style confidence workshop which we created, yeah. we created during lockdown yeah, and rolled out and continue to roll out for people going through treatment who want a confidence boost when it comes to their style and their image but also what was most impactful from those workshops from you know hundreds of people at home going through treatment how lonely during lockdown just awful 
it was the impact of colour, Caroline. Mm. It, it, it struck such an important chord with me. It was something I could see how much of an impact it made on the people attending these workshops. So I thought, this, I have to, I have to, I have to build on this and yeah. make Seeing it how much power to that your mum got from the colour that she wore, that became yeah. her armour, didn't it? It did. That absolutely. became her force of nature and power yeah. to, to get better, which she did. Yeah. Um, and it's incredible. Yeah, it just beautiful. I mean, at no point did she look like a patient. She just looked like mm. a beautiful woman in the most vibrant colours and I was just unbelievably proud of her and it's become my life's work. So yeah, it's a joy. Isn't she special? <laughs> yes, she is. Finally, I know I mentioned that Anna was gonna come probably the second week in January. I was like, oh, she's gonna come down and we're gonna do the colours and it's now May. Um, but we got there <laughs> we in got the end. There, yeah. Um, so thank you for coming all oh, the way from thank Cheshire. You. Thank you. <laughs> Luckily, because of the modern powers of technology, she's available for everybody around the world. And um, if you fancy it for a gift or for your, a treat for yourself, or you just want to learn more about colour therapy, styling, um, then she is your girl. Slightly off piste for Speed Beauty, but I don't think so, actually. I think the whole combination, whether it's your hair, your skin, your makeup, and the clothes you wear, it's all the armour we need mm. to get through each day in the happiest way possible. So I hope it's been helpful. See you next week. Bye. Bye.